Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Bree Cherie. On this channel we do budgeting and planning and part of that planning is cloth and paper unboxing. Um, honestly, this month I did not cheat. <laughs> I did not cheat and um, look to see what other people received. So in the past I would always, you know, go online and see whoever uploaded the first cloth and paper unboxing to see what we have of course um cloth and paper does like sneak peeks and stuff like that so i know a couple of the things that we have um but all right this is going to be a complete surprise on all of the items that we're receiving um other than the sneak peeks so i really want to just get started i'm going to use a pen um this is the hp size edition um it also includes not only just the planner supplies but it also includes the pinspiration so all right let's go ahead and get started this is creating space um by getting rid of things that no longer serve you invites possibility opportunity and more space for love um actually i need to do that so bad so this is the prompt for the month of november um this month we're we're actually getting physically and mentally decluttered how might you be in this process and what positive things will come from creating so i really love that this is the uh pinspiration prompt okay so i saw this on the website um as one of those sneak peeks what it is i don't know oh it's the pens <gasps> that is the pen no more pen cases Look at those colors. Look at that purple. Oh my God, can y'all see that? No more pen cases. What am I gonna put the pens in? Because every single month I put the pens inside the pen case and that way I, you know, I have my pen test with my pens for the month, so. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, so this is the accessory case, let me read. This says, our new accessory case is perfect, the perfect storage solution for your small accessory case and cards. To keep your case looking fresh, we've added a set of three dashboards, dashboard cards. The dashboard cards are, pack of, are packaged separately. Okay. This is perfect for our journaling cards. So these are just some of the journaling cards that I have. Um, and a lot of these are packed full. Like, I wish you could see how many is in here. But this is, um, it's kind of excessive on how many I have. I need to throw these away, but I haven't. Um, but this might be perfect. Well, no, that's not even going to fit in here. I thought they would be perfect for it, but it's not going to fit. Okay. So I went ahead and added a couple of um, items. These came from our subscription boxes. Um, so I went ahead and added these. You, know, I really, this kind of really makes me think about all of these journaling cards that we get and having a storage for it. Cause I don't, I don't have a storage to put our, our journaling cards, but this was such a clever idea and it is so cloth and paper like. Um, it is clear and translucent, um, and I love it. I really do, but I I want one for our journaling cards. I'm just bragging at, or like complaining at this point, but like now I need to find something that I can fit my journaling cards into because this was such a clever idea. Um, and if we can find something that fits our journaling cards, we can easily put. Um, items like this inside right I'm just thinking outside the box so all right so next let's move on next we have this ink pen oil based this is the permanent marker that um, they have been showing on Instagram now I already use a permanent marker for my um, for my tabs or um accessories that you can't use a regular pen on so this will be perfect for writing on 
items like this where it's like a, that uh, silky finish where you cannot use a regular pen. This will be perfect for that. And I actually really love this brand. So this is what the nib looks like on one side. It is a pen tip. Okay, there we go. So it is a pen tip on one side and on the other side it is regular a regular marker. So I love the dual based pen. I love, love, love this. Like I said, I already was using a regular fine tip um, permanent marker. So, but I'm so glad she included it because she has been bragging about this pen. So I'm so glad we don't usually get pens. Maybe once or twice a year, we'll get a pen. Um, these are the dome sticky notes, man. These are, I love the colors, just a soft muted um, lavender and like a bluish gray color and then a gray color. Set of four, 25 sheets each. I love that. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Probably tabs, um, especially, you know what? I've been dying to get um, tabs for my books. And as much as I do not want to use something as expensive as this for like my reading books, but I've already paid for it. I don't want to go out and buy more. So I might actually use these for my, my books that I'm reading. Um, love that. Minimal labels, sticky notes, page flag, squares, stickers, paper clips, pens. What are we supposed to use this? Okay, hold on. Because we can't use these, these labels, we cannot use these labels for this. So uh, let me see what it says. On the list is accessory stickers. These are the perfect tool to help you keep track of all your planning accessories. Use your new ink pen to customize the last four labels to fit your own personal collection. Is that the right one? No? Accessory stickers, yeah. These are the accessory stickers. Keep track of all your planning accessories. Planning accessories. Okay, and then they have four blank ones that we can add in by using our pen. We can use our pen and customize our own label. So there's four of them down here um, that you can actually use on your own and make out of um, and customize it to your own liking by writing on it. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of the box. So, okay, zoom you guys in a little bit. So these are the dashboards the, that goes in the accessory pack. And I'm just gonna set it up, guys, because I really wanna see what this looks like. It is textured on the back, so it does have a texture to it. Very thin. Let's see, how is it supposed to go? So I don't know if it goes this way or if it goes this way, but that's the way I like it. So uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. That is what it looks like. Again, clear, frothy cover. Um, hopefully they come out with one for our drawing cards because that will be top notch. Then I will be able to use these accessory cases because at this point, I don't know about you guys, but I am not. My um, accessories are kind of just in a bin and I pull out what I need when I need it. So. Um, let's start with the journaling cards. So these are for the month of December. Super cool. I can't believe the month is already out, guys. Okay. Yeah, of course, we have our clear 12th month, um, our clear December calendar. This is just standard. Um, there is a film on this, so please take that off before you use it. Um, start by starting. Yes, absolutely, start by starting. The function of art is to do more than tell it like it is. It's to imagine what is possible, absolutely. And of course we have our December matte journaling card. All of these journaling cards that we get, like I'm really gonna have to find something, maybe like a four by six um, photo album to put in, I don't, 
I don't know. I'll have to look. Or wallet size. This is bigger than a wallet size, right? I don't know. All right, so this is our collage dashboard. And that is what it's looking like. I'm not going to take it out because there's nothing fancy. There's nothing on the back. Last month we had things on the back, which was super, super cool. Nothing on the back for that one. This is our vellum. This is the Reason dashboard. And it is vellum. It says expression. And it also says reason for being, purpose for which one is suited. Absolutely. That is reason, right? All right. And so um, then we have favorite products, name, brand, description. This is a product inventory. Um, product inventory. Uh, it doesn't. I'm sure there's at least 25 pages in here. But in here it has... Uh, favorite product name brand description and that is this it's the same front and back and so I will definitely be distashing these um, I've been meaning to distash a bunch of things including including the mind map uh, desk pad and I just I have to get rid of a lot of stuff so um, this is the HP size I will definitely probably be distashing these because I, I don't use things like that um, this is December. This is the horizontal weekly and we all know what this looks like because we've been getting it every single month. So that is it. This is it. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this because I really missed the case. I love the idea of it, but I want the case. I, I want the case. I use the case. Not only do I use the case for pens, I use the case for, um, carrying around things like accessories and stuff like that. I'm going to miss the case. I am. I, I have a feeling she's not bringing it back. <laughs> or I'm just maybe dreading just being overly dramatic overly dramatic and dreading the idea so I'm gonna go zoom you guys in and get started on the pen test this pen feels so heavy it is so heavy look at the ball it has um it has this metal ball to it and uh silver chrome but this pen has some weight to it uh this is piloting Piloting, that's what it says. It says that it is a 0.5. This is what the nib looks like. Um, and if you want to see the pen test again, this is what it's looking like. So I'm not sure where the pinks are. Guys, I always receive like weird colors that have nothing to do with the Pinspiration board, but I love it nonetheless. So this says that it is it's not really working. So this is going to need to be broken in, seems like. That's going to need to be, it's not really dark. Even when it's coming out, it's not really dark. I, I don't know, but I had high hopes for this and it kind of let me down. So this next one is definitely, this one feels so much cheaper. Oh my gosh. Downing. Downing. This says that it is a 0.5. And this is what the nib looks like. Let me take the wax off. This is what the nib looks like. Oh God, this thing is so cheap, it's, it's hurting my hand. Downing 
Yeah, I would not use this pen. Matter of fact, it, I have so many of the pens um, from pre the previous year that I, this would be one I immediately give away. I wouldn't mind someone taking this pen off my desk. That's how much I'm, I just don't care for it. <laughs> Run off with the pen if you would like, okay? I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have this um, Less Is More. This is not the first time that we have got, gotten a pen that says Less Is More. This is the uh, pink edition that we received either last month or maybe the like, month before, but it is the exact same pen. So, Less Is More. 0.5, and this pen I do use, so I'm sure I'll like this one. Um, a lot of these pens, which is perfectly fine because, you know, at least we're getting a variety and she does switch it up, um, with highlighters and, and glue sticks and stuff like that. So I, I appreciate that, but a lot of these pens are duplicate, just different barrels. Um, this is what the nib is looking like. I tried to take the, take the wax off, but I wasn't able to, uh, let's do this is more point five and I like it like I said it's it's very much the same as this pen it is definitely darker than the other two um, so I like it okay seriously this okay How many times have I gotten this pen, guys? Like, I, I just want, I'm just asking. How many times have I gotten this pen? This is a pen that has no name on it. I've gotten this in blue, green, um, pink, soft pink, and now this color again. Uh, anyways, um, Keiko Green. Five. Yeah, and the color the color actually matches the the actual pen this time because the ones that I've gotten in the past are black ink and it's pink or brown. I, I don't want this pen no more. Don't send me no more of these pens. Like that's why I'm at. Last but not least, we have. Is that a more? It might be a navy blue, but it kind of looks purple to me. What do you guys think? It has a purple tint to it, um, but it's the navy blue, navy blue one. So these are identical pins as well. Um, okay. So. The first, the blue, the light blue one did not work. <laughs> Do we have faith in this? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. It works. Okay. It writes nice. The, the thing that I like most about it is the weight of it and how soft it is on the outside. I really love the satin type of finish that it has it is it feels silky smooth um as well as the weight when you compare this and this there's or even even this pen there is no comparison at all like it it just feels of quality and I really really enjoy that this pen like I said someone can take it off my desk and I won't even blink an eye this pen, I will definitely probably enjoy. So if this one works, let me try this one again. Mm. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. Okay, well just ignore me at this point. I think that this has to be broken in because it's definitely not writing effectively. It's blotchy um, and it's not coming out uh, like this one is. So there goes our pens for the month of October.
Yeah, October. Um, from the October subscription or Penspiration box. These are our five pens that we received. Um, out of my favorite is definitely going to be, um, of course, this navy blue one. Um, and then I also, of course, because I've I experienced this pen in the past, I enjoyed this pen as well. Um, I really do like it. But I'm definitely going to be writing with this one for the rest of the week. And uh, take this with me. I really love how weighted it is. Um, yeah. This is the Penspiration. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.